Hello and welcome to Scrapbooking with a Twist. We are going to make an embellishment tonight. Um, this one is, I have to look it up, Let's Stay Home. This is part of the regular swap over on Ginger's Corner and the title of this one is Let's Stay Home. So when I started trying to think about what I was going to do for Let's Stay Home, I thought, Let's just be lazy if we're going to stay home. And so I found this little sloth and decided that that would be what I would do. And the little thing that goes with it says, uh, not today, not today, not going to do that today. So that's what we're going to make tonight. I thought when I picked these out that I was picking out something really simple that could go really fast, but it seems like I never do that. So it turned into being a little more time consuming than I had um, kind of hoped that it would be, but I think they turned out cute. So, um, I just found these on my silhouette. I didn't do them exactly the way they were done in the uh, design thing, but very close, very close. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the little toenails on my sloth because they need to dry and this is just a uniball gel pen and I'm do because I'm going to color them with a a colored pencil not a pencil but a marker here in a minute and so they need to be good and dry but this is just the little background for our little sloth so I'm just going to set that off to the side <clears throat> and I'm going to get our pieces out and start working on them. We have our little face, our head, this the little mask of his eyes. It's a her, it's not a him, of her eyes. And then there's the body, and then we have some little additional legs that fit in there. And um, we can't get that one picked up. And um, so anyway, that those are our main pieces that we're going to use. We have a few more, but these are the main ones. I'm going to, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm still a little bit hoarse. I'm going to go ahead and ink these. And while I ink them, as usual, I will do our twist. And it is very fast tonight. Our twist tonight comes from Galatians chapter 6, verse 9. And it says, Let us not become weary in doing good. For at, the pre um, for at the proper time, we will re reap a harvest if we don't give up. You know, we're taught that all of our lives. Don't give up. Don't give out. Don't quit trying. Just work hard. It'll pay off. And that same philosophy is really true in our Christian lives, too. Paul is uh, talking to the church at Galatia. He had been there before, and he was... This was a letter back to them. They had kind of fallen back into some of their old habits. And so he was writing them a letter. And he's saying, don't give up. Don't be tempted to do what some of the people around you are doing. Just hang in there. And he goes on to say, we reap what we sow. And if any of you garden or do anything, you know you can't like plant onions and then think you're going to go out and pick sweet potatoes, if, you know, when it's time to pick them. It just doesn't work that way. And it doesn't work that way in our Christian lives. So if we don't give up, if we just hang in there, keep living lives of faith, realizing that, you know, there's only one way to salvation, and that's through Christ, and that our lives need to be lived in a godly manner, that we will reap the ultimate reward eventually, of eternal life. And so that was pretty much the message that Paul was trying to give to the Galatians to remind them who they served and how they needed to serve him. So don't give up. Just keep doing good. And eventually it pays off. All right. I'm nearly through doing this. Uh, I'm really getting hoarse tonight doing this inking. But it really, as I always say, it really makes a difference to ink these. <clears throat> okay, I think that's all that I need. Well, I'm going to go ahead and do the 
the little sign. I went ahead and put the letters on there, not today, just because it's kind of brutal to watch me put those little bitty letters on this sign. And it takes too much time, so I decided I would go ahead and put them on it. And I, this is just, everything here is scrap. Well, I did end up having to use a full sheet of black because I didn't have enough black scraps to make the, the background, but everything else just scraps. They're not even all exactly alike because of that. So there's our little sign, just kind of a ticket shape, and there's our little sign. And then that's everything that we need to ink. So we can put that away. Now we need to start, I kind of made a mess. That was a old dauber and kind of wanted to fall apart. Okay, so <clears throat> the first thing we're gonna do is put our little face on our head. And I'm just using some Nuvo Glue liquid adhesive here because I want that second I might have to move it around just to line it up. So these do have to be lined up pretty close. And I'm on this surface that I really can't see. I probably have my head in the camera. Okay, there's that. And I actually may wait. I didn't do the others this way, but I may wait because it's better to see that black through there to be able to line those things up. Now we're gonna put the body on. Just like this. got our little body on and then we have a little pillow I can get it picked up there's our little pillow but I'm gonna put the head on this is kind of tricky because the head needs to be in a <clears throat> certain position for that little pillow to fit in there just right I apologize for being so hoarse, I hadn't talked much this afternoon, and I guess I should have and exercised my voice a little. All this coughing that I've done the last couple of weeks have kind of taken their toll on my voice. Okay, now then, let's get this little pillow and get it inked up. Just fits right in around her little head. Kind of scooted that, but that ink will dry clear. Okay. And then there is a tiny little piece that goes in our pillow, the little end of it. Right in here. They actually cut these little toenails. I think I saw one in, no, I don't see it now. Thought I saw one in there a while ago. They, this tiny little toenails actually cut. I threw them away and said, I'm gonna use a gel pen. No way am I doing those tiny little toenails. No way. They were teensy, teensy, tiny. Some of them came out okay, and some of them didn't. So it's like, no, nope, not, not playing that game. They were even tinier than the ones I have drawn on there. Get our little legs on there. Who's getting low? <clears throat> OK, 
Okay. And then we have some little branch things that go along here. Let's just put a little glue where they go and we'll get them. Make sure it's right side up. Oops. Well, there we go. Just kind of building that little branch that goes under him. And then I'm going to add some little branches just to kind of dress it up just a little bit. These are just literally scraps from my stash, so I have no idea what papers they are or anything. There we go. One more little piece right there. And that has that part of the branch done. Then we've got to get this little, <clears throat> our little mask on. So let's do that. These are the hardest ones to place because they have to be really exact. Okay, and then this one. Okay, that glue will dry clear. Okay, so we've got a little mask on. And then I just wanted to add some branches just to kind of dress it up a little bit. Just to, there were some other things out here and they were teensy tiny little pieces and really didn't look that great anyway in the design thing. So I just decided to add these little branches. This is a die cut that I will show you. And so I just cut it out of the craft and then also out of the brown and um, just stuck those in under there. Just let it dry just a second there. And let's do one more right over that little leg that's behind the limb. There we go. And then I, I've got a couple that I want to put coming out from behind. One right up here. And let's see, let's do another one, maybe right down here. That just, to me, just dressed it up a little. It was kind of plain before I put those on there. So there we have our little sloth. And uh, not today, we're going to stay home and do nothing today. So this was Let's Stay Home, and if you... Uh, look in the description box. There will be the the list of everybody that's playing along with this swap. So you can just go from one to the next one to the next one to the next one. And everybody has a different idea. And it's so much fun to watch. I nearly forgot I wanted to um, paint her little fingernails. So I'm just, this is an old, old uh, Stampin' Up. I have literally had this probably 30 or 35 years. And it still works. Um, it is called um, Regal Rose, and I didn't want to leave those little toenails white, and this just really matches that paper, 
So I just polishing that gel pen and it worked pretty good. So just doing a little manicure here. And then the other thing I wanted to do is I wanted to, they had um, like this, they had little lines cut to glue in there. No. So I'm just going to draw little lines to make like our pillow ticking, like our little pillow sticking out. Draw that right there. And then, oh, I was going to show you, this is the die cut. I use this limb. I have a bunch of limbs that I just ordered in a, like a die cut pack off of Am Well, this is Sizzix. This one's Sizzix. Um, but I ordered some other ones, and I have them all together that I got off Amazon. But I use it a lot, but I just die cut it and then cut the little limbs off separately to use around here. And then I thought, too, that I have a couple of little limbs left over that I might um, put some little limbs on the sign. So let's look at that possibility. I like this one over here pretty well, so let's do that for sure. <clears throat> And then we'll see about that other side. We'll just trim that over there. Then um, let's see what else I've got. Maybe something like that. Let's try that and see what it looks like. Put this one actually on the back. And then put this one coming up from the side. See how that looks. Now let's just trim them. to ink that just a little right there and right there okay I think that finishes them up and if you enjoyed this please give me a thumbs up if you look down in the description box you can uh, see everyone that's playing along with this swap and you can watch just one after the other it is so much fun because let's stay home means something different to everyone and so there's going to be some really cute uh, some cute embellishments by some very talented people down in that description box. And if they're not all there today because mine is made in advance and will come up, one of the first ones to come up, just check back in a day or two. They may be there. But um, lots of fun to play along and some really talented people making embellishments. And by, with that link, you can just watch them one after another. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you would, give me a thumbs up help my channel grow, and have a blessed day, and be a blessing to someone else. Thank you.